the fx unofficially called the f3 is a twin engine stealth sixth generation fighter designed for achieving air superiority the fx will be bigger than the f22 which will give it a nickname the godzilla the aircraft would possess very long range and large payload capacity technologies tested in the x2 technology will likely be included into the fx fighter defense ministry taro kono stated that the FX will possess very strong network capabilities and will carry more missiles than the F-35. The FX will be Japan's first domestically developed stealth fighter jet and will replace Mitsubishi F-2s by the mid-2030s. It is intended to make its first flights in 2028 and enter full-scale production in 2031. The FX program began when the United States banned the exploitation of the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor as part of the 1997 Obey Amendment to safeguard its technology. When Japan was no longer able to purchase the F-22, a domestically developed fighter was chosen to replace Japan's aging fleet of fighter jets. In 2010, the Ministry of Defense conducted a study on developing the aircraft. The research called for the aircraft to be a generation ahead of the F-22. The concept fighter was named Triple I, which stands for Informed Intelligence Instantaneous. Some of its technologies and capabilities would include advanced radar system to counter stealth technologies of other fighters, ability to receive target information from other platforms like drones and aircraft, use of flyby optics to process information faster. It would also possess an RF self-defense system to counter aircraft air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missile threats. The system would perform both ESM and ECM by being alerted to the threat and disrupting its radio waves instantly. The FX would possess a helmet-mounted display that would feature wide field of vision, binocular, multicolor display, voice recognition and 3D sound. To minimize its cross-radar section, the FX's physical designs would feature separate air ducts, an internal weapons bay, and electromagnetic wave absorbers. The aircraft would use plasma stealth antenna to deflect radio waves. The antenna will work by creating temporal plasma using the characteristics of plasma that can change physical properties through electrical control. The aircraft would be powered by an XF91 engine with a thrust of 250,000 pounds. In armaments, the ASM3 will be developed for the FX. It will also carry a microwave weapon to disrupt incoming missiles. Japan also plans to introduce unmanned aerial vehicles that will operate like the Kratos XQ-85 alongside the FX. The drones would act as a loyal wingman to the controlling aircraft. These are two versions of the drones. One is a sensor carrier and scout for targets. Another will fire munitions and direct incoming missiles. Both versions of the drone will share the same design and they are expected to be fully developed in 2030. In 2018, Japan sent out proposals to the United States and the United Kingdom, seeking on their participation in the project. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, BAE Systems and Northrop Grumman responded to the proposal. It is reported that Boeing offered an upgraded fighter based on the F-15. BAE Systems offered their Aero Fighter Typhoon. Lockheed Martin proposed an F-22 and F-35 hybrid fighter, while also offering a majority of the work in developing and producing the fighter. Northrop Grumman showed interest in joining the project, with speculation that a modernized YF-23 might be offered to Japan. Just in case you don't know what the YF-23 is, we made a previous video about the Northrop Corporation's YF-23. All links in the description. In 2018, the Ministry of Defense began ruling out the possibility on developing a fighter based on existing designs. Boeing's F-15 and BAE Systems Aero Fighter Typhoon failed to meet the Ministry's requirements. Lockheed Martin's hybridized stealth fighter was also melted with doubt due to its super expensive price, as well as uncertainty that the US would allow sales given the export ban of the F-22. The FX fighter is currently under development, but soon it will be flying the skies.
and we will get to see its capabilities and what it would really look like for ourselves. Do you have any thoughts? Please write them to me in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell if you haven't so you will always be updated when we upload a new video. If you liked the video then give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't just go, we have dozens of videos like this for you to check out. Simply head over to our channel and watch more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.